This is what we're all thinking podcast stories behind the craft. I got another special guest for y'all today. I'm going to give y'all a little story time early. People from Africa, c anybody you could think of that's been doing this music shit for a little minute has brought this man up on the podcast. He brought both his artists to me, which much your love and respect. Um, quiet dude, but knows a lot. Been running the city for a little minute, been holding it down. So I want to see what he going to say on a lot of stuff. Without further ado, man, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, man, y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Loose Cannon Takeoff, you know what I'm saying? LKM, man, Loose Cannon Music, you know, CEO, you feel me, all that. For sure, man. Welcome to the podcast. It's your first time. Yeah, I appreciate you. I like to make sure I check on the mental health, man. How's the mental? How you feeling today? I'm good. I'm good. Mentally, I'm good, you know. You know, another day, you feel me? I'm good. I feel that. So, everybody talking about the city right now. The city dying. Yep. It ain't nothing going on. So, how you feel about Orlando as a whole right now? I feel like, um, as as a whole, I feel like we the, um, we the most friendliest, unfriendly city there is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We the friendliest, unfriendly city there is. And I say that because... As a whole, they'll be friendly with everybody, you know what I'm saying, besides their own kind. But to come to our own kind, we ain't, it's like, I ain't friendly. I don't fault them, but I ain't friendly. You know what I'm saying? But you're friendly if a nigga not from here, you know what I'm saying? Brother, I love you, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Let's make him, let's get him to the top. Let's make sure he blow up, you feel me? That's my. That's how I feel about this shit, you know what I'm saying? So so all in all, I feel like, bro, I feel like Orlando is like a, like a, it's like some. It's like somebody who don't know their power. You feel what I'm saying? Like we got the strength and don't even know we got it. You know what I'm saying? To really change a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Whether 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 people believe it or not, like bro, we got the power to change some shit. Like for real, for real. But niggas don't know their power. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like the smoke screens got a nigga distracted. You know what I'm saying? We looking over there instead of paying attention to right here. And it's like, mm. if you pay attention to right here, you can change so much different shit. Like, damn, look at how that bitch like Atlanta. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, be, it, it won't be nothing to see Rolls Royces and Double R's and Lamborghinis. We got to wait till Classic to see that shit. You know, this shit be everyday shit. You know what I'm saying? And it'll be motherfucker that's right around the corner. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, like that's how I feel. Like, we, 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 we people that got power that don't know they power. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I feel like... That it was like last year was a gatekeeper thing. It's people in the city that got a lot going, but they don't want to extend the hand. Now is I just feel like everybody with the power of social media, everybody got the power to do what they want to do. Yeah, see, the gatekeeper, it's like, bro, one thing about this gatekeeper thing, like, ain't no, ain't no gates to be kept, you know what I'm saying? It's certain, situ- it's certain positions that certain niggas in that would help, you know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody, can't nobody really block you, first of all. Like, bro, when you made for something or, or something is your destiny, God himself is the only person that can start that. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But don't get it twisted like as far as shit like niggas be like, oh, the DJs ain't playing my song, this and that. That could play a role because if you, they don't play it, certain people won't hear it. You feel what I'm saying? And if old oh, these folks ain't booking a nigga, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to say that that determines your whole career. So what gate is they keeping? This one, but then there's plenty, you know what I'm saying? If they don't let us through the front, bitch, we snuck through the side. <laughs> or the we, back. Yeah, we joined the gate, you know what I'm saying? We're going to join the gate, go through the back, whatever we got to do. So I don't really, you know, I ain't going to really blame nobody else for that shit. And I can't really say nothing about it. no gatekeeping, you feel me? Because the internet is like a big part of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Can nobody stop you on the internet? You know what I'm saying? Algorithm slow nigga shit down, but besides that, they like, bitch, everybody's on the internet, everybody got access, so I ain't really no, you know, gatekeeping in my eyes, you feel me? I feel that. So, I want to talk about the music, because you got a lot of freaking music. When I say you got music for days, yeah. 
You can go on a 12 hour, 13 hour drive. I don't think you still get through all the music. Oh, no, you get no, that we, drive. Can drive, we can drive to New York and back and, we'll <laughs> and, and not have to play nothing twice. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? We won't, we won't have to play nothing twice. We drive to New York, take a couple gas station breaks, you know what I'm saying? Roll up, pause, eat, and jump back and, you know, come back. Definitely. And we still going to be playing shit, you feel me? Definitely. So, what's the driving force? What made you that go get in you to actually. Drop so much music because everybody be like, you know, they have different stigmas about you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going I'm to I'm speak a little bit about it. But what's the driving force of you dropping so much music? All right. I'm going I'm to take, take it like this. Here. All right. Um, all right. I'm Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm, like, and, and, um, I'm like the first generation here. You feel me? So I ain't had no... Um, Big cousin, big uncle, big brother, or nobody like that 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 already paved the way for somebody. Like you know how like a nigga be like, oh that's such such uh cut whatever whatever. So it kind of the way be paved already. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like that for me. I paved my own way. So therefore, it's like basically starting with nothing. So when I first popped off the music, I'm just like you know um. I used to rap, you know what I'm saying, hand over my dogs and shit, but when I really took it serious, you know what I'm saying, I had to get off a situation, but, you know, I was locked up, you feel me? I turned I turned uh, 18 and, uh, like, you know what I'm saying, it was a chance I wasn't going to come home. So I you remember know, you talked about that yeah, a bit. so I, I wrote down, like, you know, bitch, if I ever get out, boy, I'm finna rap, you heard me? So <laughs> For sure. I used to be on that right rap slime shit, and I'm like, boy, this shit here, dead serious, you feel me? Like, I looking, boy, this shit here not looking good for me, you feel me? But I'm like, man, look, man, if it's meant to be, it's gonna be. When I get out, I'm finna rap, man, you feel me? So, I feel that. you know, LKKG was, you know, loose can of can again. That was like some click shit, you feel me? So, I'm like, man, fuck that. that these, these folks got a nigga fucked up. So what I'm <laughs> finna do? Okay, LKM, loose can of music. So that's what I came up with. And all like, I had my whole plan. Like, when I get out, I gotta be the most consistent because these niggas already got names. You know what I'm saying? You already got the the KTs, the Moot Boys, the, the Tony, the this and that at the time. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Then nobody, nobody take, you know what I'm saying? Besides, like, if you know me in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know why niggas know me for fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really knew I could rap until I dropped my first video on my own. That one nigga like, you know what I'm saying? Because like you said, I ain't no talking, I ain't no talkative person mm-hmm. unless I fuck with you. Like, growing up, I always kind of been like, I think, like, I always be, like, you know what I'm saying, talk less, like, you know what I'm saying, kind of like, you know, especially when you're young, like, bitch, I ain't friendly, bitch, I'm a gangster, like, I ain't talking to nigga that high, that's how I came up, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, the less, I, the less I say, the more you'll know, like, I don't play no games, feel me? So, when I when I draw the music, nigga, like, bitch, that nigga can rap, and he slide, you feel me? I ain't Definitely. Just, I ain't just saying shit, like, I'm actually talking with sense and shit like that, so... You know, like, my main thing was to be the most consistent. That's how I'm going to get my name in the mix. You feel me? I think you definitely got your name in the mix. Mm-hmm. Even especially because when they name those guys that you name, they put you in that yeah. that name. Especially when they come in here and they see what you've been doing. They see everything that you accomplished yeah. in your role. And you're doing this all independently. It's like, it's hard to see because yeah. that's the most things that you can go through. Yeah. But your flows, it's crazy. I seen you switch your flows up different times. I seen you videos. Like, how you plan all your videos and how you go about that? I just feel it. I see it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if you play a song right now, my brain gonna be naturally just, like, playing a video to your song. Like, even when it's like reading a book. Like, when you read a book, Mm -hmm. I'm visualizing the book as I'm reading it. It's like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Certain shit I I can't even explain. I'm just having to be blessed with that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can tell me something that you've been through as you're telling me the story, even though I'm listening to you for some reason, my brain is picturing the shit. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's how I come up with a lot of visuals and shit. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, you say my name in the mix with them names now, but at the time it wasn't. So that just lets you know the plan worked. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Because now it's like you can't mention the city and not say my name. You know what I'm saying? I say that in the most humblest way like that's a sure. fact you know what I'm saying you can't speak on the rap scene here and not say my name I don't care how old you is or how you know what I'm saying what kind of music you like I got different types of shit I got different flows I got different uh, topics you know what I'm saying whatever however you know what I'm saying Different, definitely so my favorite song from you is Lights and Cameras I always 
always was one of the ones that I always was like, yeah, I love this song. This is a, it's in my rotation. Mm-hmm. So can you give us like a story behind that song, how you created it? Um, Lights and Cam, okay. I pop it off, I say, basically like, bro, like you said, like, bro, like, like I said, how y'all act like I ain't, I ain't hard harder than the, the rest, rest of you niggas. niggas. Like, it's like, bro, I done, I done showed y'all every way. Like, it's on him. Like, you know what I'm saying? For sure. I ain't never told. I ain't never fold. I ain't never break. I ain't never been. I been dropping five shit. I ain't do no pussy shit. I ain't cross none of my niggas out. I ain't turn right. my back on Nan. I ain't turn my back on Nathaniel. You okay. know what I'm saying? Rock this shit, put on for this shit, whether I'm out of state, wherever. So it's like, like, what's going on? You feel what I'm saying? Like I Definitely. said, I told these folk get behind me if they trying to win. You know what I'm saying? All We're right. sleeping on me, so I had to make them understand. I dropped that fire like back to back and dropped that fire again. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I, I really like showed y'all in every way possible. I felt I'm I hell. felt every word in that song. Yeah. Once I heard it, I was like, yeah, because if you a person that's a go-getter or you're trying to reach a certain level in your career, it don't even have to be rapping. It could be music. It could be podcasting, YouTube. That's like, if you feel like you're good at your shit, that's the song you should be listening to. Yeah, like that's the song that's the most motivation, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I said, in the hook, I say, they going to, they gonna, what I say, um, they going to try to count you out, but then when you get the, they going to want you to turn back around. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But nah, like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm right in your face. You know what I'm saying? Like, Follow me right I'm, now. Yeah, I'm here. Like, bitch, you could give me you could give me flowers right now. Don't wait till, till the, I can't receive them, bitches. Or when I'm out of the way and I don't want your flowers, nigga, keep them flowers. Don't wait <laughs> till that to be like, damn, I wish I would have gave bro his flowers. You know what I'm saying? Or like, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see a lot of time when rappers, bro, pass away. You know what I'm saying? The next day, and I, I I play I play a role in that shit too. Now, like when certain people might pass, the next day, all we doing is jamming they shit. They streams go crazy because it's like now you like damn bro was bro was damn bro was the goat blah blah blah. They're like when Nipsey died, I ain't know about Nipsey like that till he died. Now a lot of people say that everybody like oh Nip's a real nigga blah 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 blah. I'm like damn he a real nigga. Let me check him out. Oh damn, bro! From cut from that cloth for real. Oh, I'm jamming up. You feel what I'm saying? So therefore, like these niggas' streams going crazy. And he dead though. Why? Why he had to die for us to get a? Why he had to die for you niggas who knew he was a real nigga to say he was a real nigga out loud? You dig what I'm saying? That's, I think that's a pride factor though. That shit lame. You know what I'm saying? It's a pride factor, but it's lame though. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's like that. Why niggas like pop fake they death? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, 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 fade they death right now. I swear to God, you don't have a whole city jamming nothing but tape. You heard me? All they know it. What well, that nigga was the wrongest nigga. Bop, bop, bop. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, I love that nigga. Bop, 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 bop. Then nigga pop back out. Oh, that, yeah, what's up? Nah, fuck, nigga. You feel me? So, I feel that. I just feel like, you know, it's a pride thing, but I feel like it should be like that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I feel like we'll get Well, hurt. I'm going to give you a flowers here on what we're all thinking podcast stories behind the crowd. Hey. You one of the toughest ones. Appreciate Before, it. like I said, when I first started this platform, your name was brought up a lot. Maddie Eyes, Africa, the C-Notes. Everybody was bringing you up, and it made me go tap in. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, your plan or your, your marketing tip, whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. is working out in your favor. Yeah. And just to see when I went to uh, Melo's um, event, and they did the anniversary, and you was a part of it. Just to see the crowd rocking and all the other artists that were there. You know, all the other artists has a name as well. Mm. Just to see them rocking to your shit, it's like, okay, he got something. Yeah. So that brings me into my next question. Yeah. How you do the marketing scheme? Because you tapped in with the older generation. You tapped in with the younger generation. You doing Jamaican features. Yeah. You got a lot going. So how you able to plan that strategically? To make it all make sense for you, um, to be honest, bro, I kind of like I, I I plan shit out ahead. Like like I always been kind of good with math, you know what I'm saying? Like math always been my subject. Mm-hmm. So when I do things, I kind of plan out ahead, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I might have a plan from here to next year, and and it might not be all the way like descriptive, but it's a plan that I'm I gotta execute, you know what I'm saying? And I'm the type of person until it's done. It's going to stay on my mind, so it got to get executed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's sure. why it's, I'm so consistent, and that's why certain shit happen like that. But as far as me tapping in with young, middle, and older, it's like, bro, I'm I'm, I'm 29. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? People be thinking I'm like 
30, 40, like, bitch be like, bitch be, bitch be like, damn, but I thought, bro, like, late 30s, 40, like, but it been like that since I was young. Like, when I was 16, bitch thought I was in my 20s. You know what I'm saying? When I was 21, 22, bitch like, damn, what, bro, like, 28, you know what I'm saying? Really? So, I just, I just happen to have, like, a certain type of aura about myself, I guess, that, like, if I'm older than I am, but then I, bitch, I, I'm, st- you know what I'm saying, I still, like, be on some young nigga shit sometimes, you feel me? So, it's like, you know that might come out, but then you know it might. I got like I said, I put out different shit, so I'm able to tap in with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So yeah. one of the features that you had was turning up on the streets for a while. You did it so perfect because yeah. nobody was nobody thought he was ever gonna be heard until he came back home. Yeah. So that Glock Nine feature, how was that? Uh, what was that like, and how was that process like? Okay. Um. Cause that jump messed up the streets for real. All right, nine nine hit me a long time ago, and he was like, "This when he called himself." I think um, uh, why just be Quay? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He hit me up one time and was like, um, "Yo, how much for the feature?" So I'm like, "Shit, give me five hundred if you ain't got that jump work with me." You know what I'm saying? That time passed. I I I see a nigga named Glock Nine. You know he doing this thing. So I'm finna write him, and as I'm finna write him, I see we had prior messages. So I'm like, what the fuck? I seen this the same young nigga that had wrote me before. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like, look how the table turned. He wrote me then. Now I'm writing him. So long story short, I hit him. You know, so he hit back. You feel me? I'm like, wow. hey, bro, how much you want for the feature? He like, man, bitch, you know, we've been supposed to dig that all out wow, just fuck with me, feel me? At the time, you know, he was just signed. He he wasn't even signed yet, matter of fact. He was he was doing his thing, though, you feel me? Then, you know what I'm saying? All right, I ain't going to, all right, do your thing, you feel me? You know, stay in my lane, in his lane. He got signed. The week he got signed, he posted a picture of me on his page. It was just like, real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't asked, bro. We ain't talk. I ain't asked him to do that. Nothing. He just posted that bitch and put a real nigga. Like I said, this the week he got signed. After he got signed. Wow. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He left that bitch up for for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, okay, I fuck with J. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, we he ain't conversate. He ain't hit me up and say, yo, I'm finna post you. Nothing. He just did that shit. So, you know, me being me, I just took that as a mental note. Like, all right, fuck with the dog. You feel what I'm saying? So long story short, when he had got out this last time, the, it, a lot of folks kind of turned against him. You mm. know what I'm saying? Whether niggas believe it or not, like a lot of folks was kind of like, you know, jumping on the other way. You know what I'm saying? I was just crazy about it. Now y'all jumping on the other way. Me being me, you know what I'm saying? I fought with who fought with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, which I fought with everybody, but the dog, I fought with the dog. I ain't on no lame shit like, oh, they ain't fuck with him. So, nah, so man, what it is, bitch, I do that. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, it's on fresh out, bro. You know who I went, man. Let's put it together. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, man, you know, bitch, on fresh out. Say that. You know? You shoot him a little something, like, a little bit of, a, really like a little bit of nothing. You know, it was just on some shit. Like, you fresh out. You know what I'm saying? I see what it is. Like, you ain't come home to, to like, a million dollars. You ain't come home or nothing. So, it's like, bitch, I'm like, man, look, just link up with me. So, you know, we handle business. He pull up on me. We shoot the video and shit. You know what I'm saying? That was that. He got locked up ASAP. Boom. He got locked up right, right again. He get locked up again. You feel me? So, wow. So when he get locked up again, uh, I'm just like, man, damn, okay. He ain't not here to, to promote it with me or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it. Let me hold that bitch in the clutch while I can draw this other shit. Because he might get out. You feel what I'm saying? A couple of times past, he ain't get out. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm the only nigga with, 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 a, with, with, with some new G9. Fuck that. Brr, I draw that bitch. That bitch go crazy than I thought. I ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna lie and say like I thought it was gonna go that crazy. I knew it was gonna do something, but I ain't knew that bitch was gonna do what it did. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's the way you dropped it. That 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 trailer part. Yeah. I get loose cannon. Something he said. Yeah, so I get, and uh, then with the cannon, I get loose. Don't make me take off we, your team. And then boom, yeah. it's over. So we all like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's <laughs> the anticipation. You know? Yeah. So we all like. Yeah. What the blogs went crazy? Everybody went crazy. Everybody was coming coming to your page. Mm-hmm. That's where everybody was like, "Oh yeah, this yeah. kid got some with that one." Yeah, then the chemistry on that bitch, like you can tell, like man, that bitch was just like you know what I'm saying. 
So when I draw that bitch, that bitch went crazy. And it's so crazy because, like you said, bro, I ain't not here to help me promote this bitch. Oh, it did that just off me promoting it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, so imagine if the dog was home and just, just you feel what I'm saying? So, that shit would have been crazy. Exactly. It'll, like right now, I got like 1.2 million on the. You know what I'm saying? If the brother home, that bit probably would been four, five, six million or something. You know what I'm saying? He doing that by himself, too. Exactly. So, ain't no telling what that bitch would have did. You know Definitely. What I'm so, what about the SYC gym feature? Y'all went crazy, super crazy on that thing. Yeah, that, that, that was really just like, you know, like, bro, when I do features with people, bro, I don't, I don't, my intention is not to blow up off of a feature. Definitely. My intention is to add to my portfolio, like. Smart. You might, you might be like, damn, who all you work, work with? Shit, Spot em, got em, Glock 9, Fredo Bain, Kevin Gates. I'm finna get all that, yeah. S-Y Jim, Chameleon, uh, uh, I said, uh, Stunner for Vase, I read it, uh, mm-hmm. Baby Soldier, uh, but I can keep going, you feel what I'm saying? That's on. That's just on the portfolio, though. You know what I'm saying? That just lets you know, like, bitch, if the, any one of them is your favorite artist, bitch, I can get on there with them and hang out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really tapped in with a whole lot of folks, you feel me? And like I said, I, I don't do features like I'm going to blow up. No, that was just to add to the portfolio, you know what I'm saying? Little bro, would, he he just had sign, he had motion. Okay, bet, hey, tight now, what we doing? What you want? All right, let's do it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's that's like, it's, lit. It's like every time a bit like that, take, take, take. Slow it down, bitch, yeah. No, bitch, I always got something going on. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. You know? So, now, you being who you are and you putting in the work that you put in, yeah. you was able to start your own label and spread that wealth. Yeah. So, tell us about how you started LKM and how you got the two artists you rocking with right now. Because, like I said, the team is finally back together. So, I know y'all finna rock it. Yeah. So okay, like I said, you know, um, it's been I got I got it been it been, a, it been a, a while since I've been doing this shit. You feel me? And it's like it become a time it's, it, everybody's career where you gotta expand. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta you gotta elevate. Like I always try to elevate. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's slowly, I always try to go up. I never try to stay nowhere, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never trying to come down, so I always trying to elevate. So therefore it's like I feel like I, I got to the point where bitch I done did everything. I showed y'all what it is. So next level is to boss this shit up. You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm finna build this team. You know what I'm saying? I got a team as far as like, you know, management and shit, but nah bitch now I'm finna build a team of artists to show y'all like bitch you can't fuck with nothing over here. You know what I'm saying? So I started the label, you feel what I'm saying? And truthfully, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Mouse kind of made a nigga hurry up and, 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 and <laughs> put, the, put the paperwork in. Because, like, bro, once bro came around, he was just like, man, bitch, this is what it is. This is what we rocking. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna put on paper. Yeah, we can handle the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just was, I'm like, damn, J, hold on, J, consistent like a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Then you got Trina in here, so it's like, you know, me and my own, you know what I'm saying, me and my partner who I got labeled with, we like, man, look, let's go ahead and make it official, you know what I'm saying, because we, we was really trying to come up with a whole nother name of a label, you feel me? And I'm like, bitch, I am not already built Loose Cannon Music that, that we going to rock with, you feel what I'm saying? I could have been on some shit like, nah, that's my shit, but nah, you know what I'm saying, like, bitch, this, this we going to do it. I already built the brand, you feel what I'm saying, so let's do it. So how, so how does it feel to see other people rocking what you had started from the ground up? Bro, it's like, bro, it's, it's a blessing, bro, and I appreciate it, you feel what I'm saying? But I understand the mission ain't over, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, one song I say, I say, um, who would have thought I'd make a brand about my cannon? You feel mm. what I'm saying? And it's like, like, big gotta understand, like, what, what, what this shit really come from to understand, like, this shit really came from nothing, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like, you see that sign, I'm like, I done been in Texas, Got on the hoodie, nigga. Like, hey, bro, you lose cannon. I'm like, yeah, you like, bitch, I know from the shirt. So I'm like, okay, 100, 100. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, so it's like, this shit really, like, you know, it's, 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 it's something that, that's really something. You feel me? And as far as the artists go, like, I added them two artists, bro, because there's so much other people. Like, you'll be surprised who all asked me to sign them or. Make them a part of the team. It's like, bro, like, bro, said it ain't really just about music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done really tapped in with these folks. 
mentally and I see so much potential in them. At one point, I think I've probably seen more potential in them than they seen for themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. And it's like, I always wanted somebody like me to be in my life when I was in a position. So why not be that person? You know what I'm saying? The only the way to change, make a change if you the change. So it's like, y'all got a potential to be something big. It might even be bigger than me. Something that I, y'all might reach levels that I ain't never reached. So if I, if I could be here to get all the crutches, fuck that. That's what, it's gonna, that's what I'm going to do because I know a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, through experience. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, so I got to show y'all that to get y'all that that's what it is. You feel me? 100%. Mm-hmm. So... Is we getting a collab tape soon? That's a fact. That's what that I'm, I'm big on collab tapes. Yeah, that's Cause a it's fact. like if you got already got the chemistry, you already got you already know what's going on. Yeah. Imagine hearing that on a song oh, together. Oh no, nah, we definitely got the um loose kind of music, the label, album coming, you know what I'm saying? Cause I also got another artist on there, you know what I'm saying? He locked up right now, you know what I'm saying? New money breeds. Like mm. so it's like like y'all definitely gonna get a collab project and when you do it's gonna be some shit like it gonna be some shit like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I put my line up against everybody, anybody in the game line up. Gotti, Gucci, QC, like for sure. Yeah, like like the the same. If if we get the same tools that y'all got, I put my line up against all this shit. That's a fact. I swear to God. I love that. You know I ain't gonna lie. I'm a big I'm I'm a big uh advocate for the city, and I'm a big advocate of what y'all got going on. Yeah. That's why when I had that conversation with y'all about bringing Trent to the show. Yeah. I was like, I really need that because that's what everybody wanted. Yeah. They wanted to see that because they know what she can bring to the table. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, definitely. We got to make that happen. Yeah. So I, I want to give you a flowers on that as well. Bring it to the table because a lot of people is ready to see that for real. Yeah, that's a fact, though. I ain't going to lie, bro. I don't see no other. Like, it's a lot of females that's hard, but jit, jit different. You know what I'm saying? Jit different. Like, you know what I'm saying? So right now, that's just, you know, we sharpening everything. So when everybody time to... Pop out and you know show they show what it is. Everybody already seen like that. We seen that already. We knew that we knew that was gonna happen. You feel me? Definitely. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Intervision. Yeah. That's your home base. Yeah. They know that's the territory. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, Intervision. It all start with with Snoop. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to that boy for real. That my nigga said shout out to Snoop. It start with Snoop, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I I say that as far as like all right when I first met them. They was just interviewing somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I just happened to be at the studio. This was years ago. I was like 19. I was at the studio, you feel me? Um, they were interviewing somebody, you know what I'm saying? And he like, man, look, I got an artist I'm working with named Lewis Cannon. So, you know, I'm there, you know, big white T on. You know, I'm mm-hmm. just like, you know, I wasn't really, like, I, I was rapping, but I was really like a toe in the music. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, nine, I'm nine toes in the street, one toe in the music. <laughs> For yeah. sure that. So it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like I wasn't like it is now. So they like, they interviewed me, you know, I sat down, you know, so I'm like, you know, yeah, what it is, who I am, you feel me? I'm just, I'm just being myself, talking to them folk. And I guess the shit I was saying, because, you know, I was on there talking like, man, you know, yeah, we, we pushing peace with it. One of you niggas want to play, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I'm young, so I'm, <laughs> I'm letting a nigga know, bitch, I'm with all fuck shit, you feel me? So, long story short, I guess that's what made bro go, you know, go check a nigga, check a nigga, check a nigga back around. Let me see who this nigga is. And he like, man, he, he got to the music, Snoop fucked up by the music. So, every time I seen him, he was like, man, bro, let me manage you. So I'm like, man, I ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, but I ain't on that. Because like I said, I'm nine toes in the street. You feel me? So he was just like, man, let me manage you, bro. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, yeah. You know, you get somebody to run around, but not really. But you're like, all right, yeah, I get what you fuck with me. Yeah. And keep it pushing, you feel me? Till like, I just found myself in a point in life where it's like, bro, what, what do I have to lose? Like, I'm only trying to elevate, you know what I'm saying? So I end up seeing him again. I'm like, man, fuck it. Let's rock out. Let's see what it do. He told me, he like, bro, I'm a, I want you to trust me this first year to let me manage you with no paperwork. You feel what I'm saying? You can blow up and go out to your business or you can keep it real. You feel what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. second year, we'll do the paperwork. So I'm like, Bet. I, I call that. That sound like a good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so you ain't trying to give me a sign. Nothing right now, but you feel the management. All right, bet. Let's do that. You feel what I'm saying? And it's just like. Since then, bro, it's like, you know, we done elevated together. You know what I'm saying? We done 
built this shit, kept going, you feel what I'm saying, and locked in, and they was like the team that I needed, because I was doing this shit on my own, like, I was at the corner store on North Lane with my own shirt, passing out my own CD while I'm selling, you know, mm-hmm. you know. You know what I'm saying? While mm-hmm. I'm selling, you know what I'm saying? Little mm-hmm. chips or whatever I'm doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So I was my own team. So having the extra people, it was like, yeah, they were what, what I needed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They were what I needed. So it was like, that was the complete, like at the beginning, that was the completion of the beginning stage. Of, that was Loose Cannon Takeoff introduction. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. Yeah. So now, you at the level you at. Mm-hmm. Some people who get to the level you at do all the things you do get discouraged. So what keeps you motivated to keep pushing to do this shit? Um, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it G. Knowing that, um, knowing that I'm nowhere near where I want to be, keep me going. Plus the people that's around me. Like I got some. I got some people that, like brother, if like the people that believe in me that's around me, bro, it's like like. It's, it's, it's different. Like, these folk really, like, believe in a nigga. Like, for real, for real. Like, I got niggas with life sentences. Like, man, bitch, take. If you don't, man, discourage. What the hell is you talking about, man? Mm-hmm. Like, these niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these folks got other shit they could be worried about, but their main focus is making sure, like, take, bitch, like, bitch, I believe it. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of people. Like, it's from... You know what I'm saying? My niggas, my team, my like my sisters, my look, my my kids, you know what I'm saying? Like these folk like damn, like so so to have all all these folk believing in you, bro, it's like that's some weight I gotta tote. Like, damn, boy, how the fuck how the fuck I'ma let myself down when all these folk believe in a nigga? All these folks are putting the house up right now. The house Literally. They, the house they live in, they'll put it up right now. Just, yeah, it's I put the house up on him. Ain't no way I could. I and it's could. like that every time. They're going to pop this shit every oh, time. They don't play about They don't so play about you at all. Like, I, I understand <laughs> I understand who I am. And I understand the position. So it's like, bitch, bitch I'm putting on. I got to put on for these four. These four believe with a nigga. I got no choice but to believe in me and keep going. Feel me? Like, bitch, we ain't know what they done. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like positioned to be in the right place. So when this shit do get where I need it to go, it's no loose ends, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. So, what's the next steps you want to take as far as the music? What you think you need to do as far as the music to get it where it needs to be? Honestly, I'm gonna be real. I need to get to get out of the city. I need to get out of the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? I need to get out of the city and um, like go to the other states, like go to the other states, other countries, shit like that. Like I really need to. Expand. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's all. Like we see it. We see it work. You know what I'm saying? We see what the music I make do. We see what you see what it do. You know what I'm saying? We got proof that it works. You know what I'm saying? We got proof that it's shit people want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So all I gotta do is get to them ears that ain't never heard of me. You know what I'm saying? Get to them folks that ain't never seen me and just expand. You know what I'm saying? I feel that 100. percent Yeah. So. You got that Jamaican f- song feature. Yeah. That bit go crazy. Yeah. Tell me how that came about and tell me what. Because you you did a Wah Wah remix. Yeah. That shit went That's crazy. The first time I ever let people know that I could speak Patois. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. Wah Wah. And it was a reason for that. Like, I'm full blood Jamaican. My man, daddy. You feel what I'm saying? I used to live in Jamaica and all. Like, went to school in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Elementary school type shit. So, that's lit. I grew up, you know what I'm saying, like raised like a Jamaican for real. But my peers was America, so you know what I'm saying, coming here like being, you know, getting, you know, my homeboy, they about America. So I'm, I done got Americanized, so I know how to move. Yeah, bitch, you know what I'm saying. I move with a West that's Island a su- swag. That, that's you know a superpower. A lot of people don't know. Yeah, so I move with a with a with a Florida swag, West Atlanta nigga swag. Like that's how I move because I done adapted to my environment. You feel me? So. And this is who I am. So always in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna pop out with that Jamaican shit. But I want, I want to be all the way clear about who I am first. You know what I'm saying? Basically, sure. like, I want y'all to. I don't like. You ever seen a nigga make a song and then now he gotta stay in that genre? Mm-hmm. No, I bitch, I built this shit out being who I am. But it's it's a, it's another part of me I don't know yet. 
And that would have walk walk came in like, but yo, it'll get like that. And I was like, crazy. oh shit, what the fuck? Then you know, I got more comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't really, I never really wrote no reggae. You know what I'm saying? So that walk walk was my first time. Like, let me see what it is. You feel what I'm saying? That it's shit was crazy. rocking for real. Then I came back with the Taliban remit. That's the that's the, that's the second time I really like. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's so comfortable enough to let do this, you know what I'm saying? It's like so on so forth. They kept eating it up. So now it's like I done showed y'all a different part of me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You thought you you thought you seen all the shit like no, nah, I got more shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. So I feel like it was just like that was just the time. It was uh -huh. time for me to, you know, expand, you feel me? Yeah, when I heard that shit, I'm like, Oh yeah, he tapped into a whole different bag. Yeah. Cause you you your voice, you be you be trying to Play with your voice a little bit, mm -hmm. trying to see how far you could take it. Yeah. So how's the thought process when you're in the studio trying to make a track like that? Um, honestly, bro, a lot of times like, like you talking about like the harmonizing yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, honestly, bro, I just get in that bitch, bro, and it's like when it come to harmonizing, it's down to like, it's like um, it's different from when I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? When I'm rapping, I wanna. Mm -hmm. I want to hit you with some bars. I want to make. I want to make sense. I want to say some shit. I had you like, damn, but that fuck nigga slime that mm -hmm. bitch. You know what I'm saying when I'm harmonizing, it be like all the motion. It be damn near like, like it be damn near like I'm, I'm pouring my heart out on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I don't know why. That's just how it is. Like a lot of songs that you heard me harmonizing on, I didn't write them bitches because I didn't have to. I felt some way. I went in there, heard the beat. And I just said how I felt, and that bitch that came out, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. So I just be trying shit. If it sound right, I keep it. If it don't, hey, let me try that again. You know what I'm saying? But now that I got to the point where I'm so comfortable with myself and my style, I know what to do when it, when it, like, whatever track it's on, rapping home or not, whatever, I know what to do because I done, I done did it so many times, you know what I'm saying? I'm comfortable with myself, you feel me? So everybody been waiting. To see this collab project, what you think this collab project gonna do for the city? Um, me and Tony Boy. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like. Cause everybody waiting for it. If me and Tony Boy do the right thing, like do everything the way we post to, I feel like this would be the biggest thing to see that the scene in a long time, because how how shit just how our voices go, how the styles go, the, the track selection. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, me and Brain did a song so long, you know, due to whatever. Like, you know, at one point, we weren't really, you know. Seeing eye to eye. We weren't seeing eye to eye. So now it's like, oh, yeah, boy. Because at one point, a bit probably like, damn, boy, I wish them boy would have got on the song together. Now it's like, bitch, we get all what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is going to be one of them projects that's going to have the whole city in the job. Like, you remember back when C's used to drop, the whole mm -hmm. city was jamming them. Like, you, really ha you rarely had that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got certain albums now that everybody be jamming, mm -hmm. but it's it's not like when nigga used to back then, they used to drop a mixtape and the MTV, you hear that bitch everywhere. everywhere. You feel me? I feel like it's gonna be one of them ones. We just gotta do the right thing. Sure. And when I say right thing, I mean like, you know, the energy, the marketing, the just and that and the third. Like, we do the right thing if we're gonna do it. You feel me? Definitely. So, let's talk about the shoe game, because every time I see you got a fresh pair of kicks on. Yeah. How you go about picking your sneakers, man? Oh. You always got a fresh pair of sneakers on, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I kind of got into, like, I went into fashion like that when I was young. Like, you know, so I was more focused on the, like, the important shit in life. So, mm -hmm. you know, I was, like, I would say simple, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really into that shit like that. You feel me? My, I got an older brother. He was more into that. I was more like, Man, give me a shirt and some pants, bitch. I'm trying to get me some, you know, I'm trying to heal a sack, get some money, bitch. Do whatever, whatever. I wasn't like a flamboyant type of nigga growing up. So this music shit kind of, you know. Opened it up. Opened it up. Because now it's like image. Now I'm like, that image, bitch. I don't fuck about it. You got to care about image. You're an artist now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I had to break out a lot of shit. So when I got into the fashion, it like, bitch, dang, I like shoes now, nah, bitch. I like style, bitch. I be styling some now. Nah, it's like, sure. hold on, man. Give me them, them, them. You know what I'm saying? Them two. I want them. And I, now I got a vision for like, it's like, I might put on some shit that you might not wear, but I got my own style with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got so many shoes. You feel me? It's like, you know, shit, I'm, I'm into that shit now. You feel me? How you feel about the uh, street code and what it's become? Because snitching is like the new thing, the new funny 
thing that everybody like to do nowadays. That shit ain't funny. Ain't nothing about that shit funny. You that's what, what that's what her people feel though. Yeah, but that's because they not the person on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you understand? Know like two niggas might do a crime together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This nigga told on this nigga was funny, but now this nigga taken away from his family. Now this nigga stuck in the cell. He might never come home. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody's son. That's somebody's uncle. That's somebody's daddy. So. Ain't, ain't shit cool about snitching, especially if you were down to do the crime with the person. You know, so I could see, I could see, I could understand a civilian snitching, like a, a civilian, somebody who's not in the streets. That's not, that's not really snitching. That's them being doing what they know. Oh, you, you, you did. So, I'm gonna call nine one one. You know, that's regular <laughs> shit. Like I, I can't call nobody like that a snitch. You're being uh, what you're supposed to be. What you supposed to be? You know, what I'm saying like if you gotta stand like. People like that keep a balance because everybody in the world was on gangster shit. We wouldn't have doctors, lawyers, none of that. So, one hundred percent. Lawyer get punched in his face and he called the police. To, that's not really snitching. But if you a street nigga, you know what I'm saying. You say you a street nigga. You you know do whatever slang. Huh? You do whatever. You do crimes and then you tell like that shit don't that shit don't rock with me. I feel like you. I feel like you ain't you ain't a solid nigga because you know what you were doing before you did it. You feel what I'm saying. And when shit got rough, you told. And now niggas don't want to make jokes about it because they, they don't want to feel like, they don't want to look in the mirror and feel like, damn, I'm a bitch-ass nigga. I, mm. I'm a bitch-ass nigga. So they try to joke about it and say other shit so that the other sucker niggas or the people who ain't even really living like that could chime in and now it's all jokes and laughs and ha-ha, yeah, yeah, ha yeah, he did, he told, yeah, he snapped, he told on that, nah, that nigga know when he by himself. You know what I'm saying? If you was ever somewhat of a real nigga, you know when you by yourself, you look in that mirror like, damn, I'm a bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Show that. Yeah, you can act for them cameras. You can act for people. And act like, yeah, I told so what? You can act like that. But when you by yourself, you really, you know what I'm saying, have any type of street in you, like, you know you was a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, what you value more, loyalty or respect? Respect. Why? Because you could be on. If a bitch don't respect you, bro, it's like, bro, like, if, if you don't respect me, I mean, you, if, it, if it ain't no respect, it's disrespect, you feel what I'm saying? And if somebody don't respect you, and I'm telling you, like, what they'll say, what they'll do, how far they'll go, you know what I'm saying? Because people could be loyal to you and still, you know what I'm saying, do certain shit. Like, a bitch could be loyal to you. She ain't going to cheat on you. She not going to worry about no other thing. She loyal to you, but if she don't respect you, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, nigga, you was a bitch. You know, <laughs> she don't respect you in no kind of way? Oh, nah, I'm tri- you, you, you out of there. So I'm straight on the, um, I, I would rather, I would want both respect and loyalty. But if you had to choose. But if I had to choose, I would choose the respect. So you've been on the sideline for a lot of these. So I know what you're going to say, because <laughs> you already know it's coming. Yeah. If you have no arms or legs, which one you letting the doctor take first? Man, you can take them legs. <laughs> you can take them legs. The arms do way more. You feel what I'm saying? I can fight, cook, whatever, tight, right, call. Like, you got to stand, bro. Like, when I be seeing them people with just their feet, it kind of like, it's weird. Like, it's eating with her toes. Like, you're not going to want to eat no real <laughs> shit. You're not going to want to eat no food at nobody's house that cook with their toes, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like, if you go to somebody's house, bro, and they be like, yeah, I just cook for y'all, and they sharing the food with their toes, bro, you you ain't gonna eat that shit. You <laughs> feel me? But if I'm, you know, if I can't walk, and I'm like, yeah, I just whipped up this shit, y'all, but they gonna funk that big, you feel me? <laughs> but if you come with your toes, like, and let me get that, and you pass it with your toes, like, Oof. come on, man, feet both stay on ground. And then after using your toes so much, they start to like curve up like fingers, cause of shit you doing with them. Then you're walking on the ground, so you might have a little dirt on your feet. You all got your feet on a nigga's face. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't on that, man. I'm, I'm going to keep these arms, bro. I'm sure that. Yeah, sure. So anything you want to tell the Orlandoans before we leave this? Because that's Floridians. Shit, man. Y'all just know y'all worth, man. You know what I'm saying? Know your worth, my nigga. And understand, like, you got the ability to change people's life and we still together. Like, sticking together that. can change a lot of young niggas, like, old niggas, like, middle niggas. It can change a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? It don't necessarily got to be music, you know what I'm saying? It's strength in numbers, so to understand y'all got the ability to change a lot of shit. And why not do it to your own or for your own? Because, you know what I'm saying, sometimes Definitely. you can help me help you, you know what I'm saying? You helping them, and they going to help somebody else. They ain't really helping y'all, so it's like, you know, to understand y'all. 
y'all strength. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. For sure. Man, shout out Loose Cannon, man. Yes, sir. He about to pull up with some new stuff. He got a lot in the works. I Hopefully, I see him be consistent as ever. Yeah. He got his team back together. He got collab, music, everything on the way. So, y'all tap him, my boy. Yeah. He been showing love since the start. So, y'all like, comment, subscribe on the video. We out. Peace. Yeah. Hey, what's